Hey y'all, it's Tasha from Oh She Grows and I'm in the garage today. So I did a TikTok the other day and the very end of it showed my trash can rain barrel. And I got a question about how I made it. So um, I'm gonna make one today. Okay, so this is what you'll need a trash can, a surface to work on. This is a the spout that I'll be using, um, a drill, and some drill bits. Okay, so the spout that I have is a beverage spout. If you've ever worked in fast food and they had like the tea urn, this is basically that spout that they use on there. I just ordered this off of Amazon. It might've been like $2. Um, it comes with the instructions on there, how to, to use it. But this is what we will be installing on this trash can today. Um, any drill is gonna work. Your drill bit, you're gonna need a pretty large one. I have a hole saw, but my hole saw, the smallest hole in my hole saw is too big for the opening of this. So the kit comes with these pieces. So this, um, this goes on the inside and then you have two like rubber gaskets. So one will go on here and one will go on the inside with this. Now for the drill, um, oops. I'm going with the largest bit that I have which this is half, whatever, there's a conversion chart here. I'm not really that concerned because it's just the largest bit that I have in my kit. So that's the one that I'll be using. See what I did was looked at this diameter compared to this. Mm, they're not the same. Not completely, but because this screws in, um, this will be a little bit smaller and it'll be a snug fit and I'll have to actually use the threads to get it in there. So it's just gonna give it a better, um, a better seal. Okay, so I want it to be in the center, but you know, maybe an inch, inch and a half from the bottom. So that's where I'm gonna drill my hole, right about there. <laughs> okay, so I tried drilling the hole with this largest bit first, but this thing is so, the wall's so thin, I'm afraid that I'm gonna hurt myself. So I'm gonna use a smaller bit to poke the hole and then I'll use the bigger bit to make it bigger. Just work our way up to the giant one. All right, so that sort of worked. We got a hole. Now we gotta make it bigger. Okay, so we drilled the hole, but it's still a little too small. Still too small. So what I'm gonna do is just take the drill and just kind of wiggle it around to make the hole a little bit bigger so that I can get the spout in here. Okay, so it's not a perfect hole, but it definitely is bigger. You can see, um, and yeah, it fits. So the spout fits in there. So now I'm just gonna attach these to the inside. Okay, so I am like almost in the trash can, trying to screw this thing on because my arms are so short. It's hard to do. And this is what you have when you're all done. So for the lid, I cut a hole in it with a razor and then I put window screen on it. Um, and then I taped it. This is a bad tape job. I just use regular clear like packing tape, but I have some Gorilla tape and that's what I used on the one that's outside. It was just that I 
ran out of Gorilla Tape when I made this second one, so I used regular packing tape. And you can see it doesn't really stick that well. So, but all you do is you just sit this on top. You know, sit this on top. And when it rains, you know, the rain just comes in and the screen filters out any debris or leaves or whatever and fills up with water. And then you can, you know, fill up your bucket. Now there are so many different types of spouts you can use. Um, the two that I have outside have totally different spouts, but they were a little harder to install and required O-rings. And actually I need to go back and once they're empty, um, add silicone to seal them where this doesn't have threads for you to be able to attach a water hose like those do. The seal is a lot better and it's a lot easier. It's so much easier to install than the, the other two. Okay y'all, so we are outside and I am filling it up to see how good our seal is. filled up the container with water to cover the hole or the spout inside. So we just turn it on and boom, we got water. The flow is not as strong as my other one, but it works. But there you have it, a trash can rain barrel. If you make one, let me know. Let me know down in the comments if you plan on making one um, and then tag me in your video so that I can see what type of trash can or container you used and what type of spout you used.